Hello, my name is Jan Keppel Hesselink. I'm a professor of pharmacology and chair of the foundation EOCOP, a foundation for complementary and alternative medicine. Our foundation informs patients and physicians about the green and the ripe in complementary medicine, about the bad and the ugly, the good and the nice. And we try to extract from the field of alternative medicine the best therapies so that patients can be treated with useful, safe and effective alternative or complementary forms of medicine. There is one specific direction in the field of alternative medicine which creates a lot of concern in our foundation. It is the therapy using biophoton machines. People putting biophoton machines in the market are claiming that they have developed these machines basically related to the work of Professor Pop in Germany. These machines, such as the Starlight, operate like old machines of the electroacupuncture according to Fall. But instead of a bioresonance inroad, now they use the biophoton inroad. They claim that each disease has a certain level of biophotons or a certain level of vibrations. By detecting these ultra-weak photon emissions of the human diseased body, converting it in uh, this machine to um, frequencies which are the inverse of the pathological frequencies, and then giving these frequencies as ultra-weak photon light back to the diseased system, to the patient, they claim that this would cure the patient. Our foundation has asked Professor Pop how he sees this trend and he is as concerned as we are. And I would just like to quote his sayings on the biophotons and the applications in medicine as we see nowadays with this starlight machine. He writes, we ourselves did never claim that biophoton machines are able to do anything. The living system is working with biophotons which regulate the whole cell metabolism since the about 100,000 chemical reactions which are primarily taking place per second and per cell have to be activated by photons. This requirement of a extremely high coherence within the li living system excludes the possibility of manufacturing a machine with its unbelievable accuracy and capabilities. Nevertheless, there are always char charlatans who believe in these miracles. He is also very concerned about the quantum jump between his experimental work on biophotons and the application in medicine. Both Professor Pop as well as our foundation warn patients not to be treated by biophoton machines and we also warn physicians and therapists to use these machines. They are using machines which are fraudulent and they cannot treat malaria or dyslexia or depression or any other disease, certainly not Lyme disease, with biophoton machines such as the Starlight. This is what we would like to communicate to you today. Thank you for your attention.